Hi, welcome to Tuesdays with Tara. I'm Tara Bunnance, and today I'm going to do a focus wheel on self-acceptance and self-approval, love, primarily self-love, focusing on the awareness that who we are in the world matters. So what we're doing today is building on a focus wheel as a tool to support us in strengthening that self-approval muscle inside of us. Okay, so grab a piece of paper, pen or pencil, and let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is draw a circle in the center of your piece of paper. Just a simple circle. On the same piece of paper, you're gonna draw a second circle around that first one. Then you're gonna draw quadrants by taking your lines out to the corners. Then you're gonna draw just a cross, a cross, just a big plus sign. So if you can see, I have numbers on the paper. And so for to the right of 12 o'clock in the first quadrant, you're just gonna write a little one, two, coming around, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the center ring is gonna be left empty right now. All Everything is blank except for those numbers. For a focus wheel, we are going to take our thoughts and our beliefs around a certain idea of self-love, self-acceptance, believing in ourselves, self-approval. We're going to take our thoughts from one belief system, which is not very approving, not very strong. And we're going to take it to a much more approving self-love thought or idea or belief. And the way we do that is in the center of the circle, we write exactly what it is that we desire. So take into yourself for just a moment, what is it that you desire around self-approval, self-love, self-acceptance, believing in yourself, anything that has to do with how you feel about yourself. And we wanna take it to a very positive place. So think about a phrase that supports you. And I'll go ahead and share my phrase that I wrote into the center of the focus wheel that I'm gonna be using as an example of this process. I wrote, I love, accept, believe in, and approve of myself. So that's my goal phrase. That's the phrase I'm wanting to step into more fully with this focus wheel. Now, once you've written what's in your center circle, just kind of sit with it. If it's already like, yeah, I already feel this way. I'm, I'm about a 90, 95%. Don't use that phrase. Use another one that's a little more like 50% or less. Like if, if you just have low self-esteem or you have low self-confidence, you know, the courage, any of the things that kind of work around empowerment and fully showing up in the world as you wish to be seen. Write that into the center circle. Make it something that you're not fully there yet. And then we're going to start by going to quadrant one. Now, the way we get on the wheel to get going is we have to write something that we fully already believe in around this statement. So we may not be able to just think of something right away. It might be something like, I'm ready to, and then you write whatever's in your center circle. That's what I did. I wrote, I am ready to accept, believe in, love, and approve of myself. So you might write something like, I am ready to embody courage. I'm ready to embrace confidence. You know, any of those, I'm ready. Something to get you on the wheel because otherwise you wouldn't be doing the focus wheel. So obviously on some level you're ready and hopefully you're really ready. Okay, so go ahead and write something to get you on that focus wheel that is something you already believe right here, right now in this moment. Now, looking on to quadrant number two, I wrote, I already believe in and approve of my, and I wrote something that I already believe in and approve of for myself, which happens to be my teaching ability. So I've been teaching for many, many years, and it's something that I feel good about. It's something that I feel comfortable about and something that I'm confident in, something I enjoy doing, and I feel good about it. So it's got to be something that you really love to do, and something that you feel good about. So just write down for right now, 
something that you believe in about yourself that you really love and accept, okay? So that's number two, two quadrant number two. No, quadrant number three, I wrote something that I love about who, who I am and how I show up in the world. I wrote, I love my kindness and patience with others and myself. So think about something that you really love about how you show up in the world. And especially if it's something that you love that you also reflect to yourself. Like for me, I'm very kind to myself. I'm very patient with myself. And especially when I'm working on something new, I take my time. I give myself permission to be good to myself, kind to myself, not beat myself up. So that's something that's easy for me to write because I, when I do that with myself, of course, it's easy for me to reflect that outward to others. So write down something that you love about how you show up in the world, okay? Moving on to quadrant number four, I wrote, I choose peacefulness in my life because peacefulness for me is a step on the journey towards accepting myself as I am. Okay, so maybe something else you could write is I choose kindness in my life. I choose something that you're ready to accept, something that you know is going to help you in your journey towards self-acceptance and self-love, but you're really saying, yes, I'm ready to claim this now. So moving into number five is kind of like a bridge. So if you want to, you can pause this video and take a moment to really get centered in what it is that you're creating. You can read the center circle, which is your goal, what you're looking for, what you're working for, and then breathe it in, let it really settle in, and then read quadrant number one, breathe it in. Quadrant number two, breathe it in, three and four, before we go on to number five. If you feel ready, go ahead and look at number five and then just Think to yourself, what is something else that I've been doing that has helped me get to this place of being ready to embrace this more in my life? So for me, I wrote, uh, I have been creating a strong foundation of self-love and acceptance for a long time. I've been doing fear burning ceremonies. I've been doing EFT. I've been doing therapy. I've been doing all these things that have supported me in creating a really strong, solid foundation for self-love and self-acceptance. So maybe it's something else that you've been doing, like you've taken classes or you've done a workshop or you know anything that you've done to step into embodying and embracing self-love. Go ahead and write that down in number five. Number six, I wrote, today is a good day to step into loving myself more. And the reason I wrote that is because I'm feeling really just jazzed about it. I'm feeling excited about doing this practice and about sharing it with you. Because for me, this is something I've been doing for so long, but I can always go deeper. And I encourage you to see if you also feel ready. You know, today's a good day to step into loving myself more. Today is a good day to have more courage. Today's a good day to lean into confidence, lean into self-empowerment or self-love. And then number seven, I wrote, I choose to accept, love, approve of, and believe in myself instead of seeking that from others. So a long time ago, before I started doing any codependency work or any deepening of you know, self-awareness, I had a belief that I had to look to others for approval before I would make decisions or choices. And so instead of seeking that out in others, I'm ready to accept that for myself without needing other people's approval. So I choose to accept these things in myself instead of seeking that out from others. Just go ahead and write number seven down. And then moving into number eight, I wrote my energy, voice, gifts, talents, and abilities are mine to share. I am ready to share me with the world. So this is a step that really kind of leans you in more to that center circle phrase. And before we move into the space around the center circle, which is going to be our final statement, go ahead if you want to and pause again, 
and read through the whole thing that you've written so far, starting with the center circle, going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then see how you feel. If you're feeling like, wow, this is exciting. I'm so feeling this and the energy's moving, then great. You've probably written everything that is gonna help you move into that center circle. If you're still not feeling it, maybe add some more quadrants, you know? Whatever feels best for you to feel more confident about stepping into that center circle. So the space around the center circle, that final statement, is the one that locks it in, gets you right there to that center circle, okay? For me, I wrote, I have many gifts to share with the world. I am ready. I have many gifts to share with the world. I am ready. It's very similar to number eight, but I condensed it and I made it build that bridge to, I, I love, accept, believe in, and approve of myself. I have many gifts to share with the world. I am ready. You can use this exercise and this tool for anything. I've done about four other focus wheel videos with Tuesdays with Tara last year. So yeah, just do a search in my Tara Abundance channel and take the time to use as many focus wheels as you need to claim self-love and do whatever you can this month for the rest of this month to really embrace and embody acceptance self-love, self-approval, empowerment, joy, you know, anything that brings you peace and happiness in your life, this month, really focus on that. We'll be taking more steps in our journey together next week by doing an EFT video. So be prepared for some tapping next week. And in the meantime, let me know about these focus wheels. Let me know if you got anything out of it. And if so, share whatever you feel comfortable sharing. Have a blessed and beautiful day. Thanks so much for joining me on Tuesdays with Tara.